going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to auto auction rebuilds we are back at insurance auto auctions for another iaa walk around let's get into it we're gonna get started today with a 2014 infinity q50 this is what a 3.7 liter all yes it is it says right there on the damn fender <laughs> i'm trying to sound all smart it tells you right there on the fender what it is 3.7 liter and i believe this is an all-wheel drive it's listed as a rear end collision a Q50S, yes, all-wheel drive, okay. It is listed as a rear-end collision. And I'm looking back here, and I'm like, um, the taillight buckets look fine. It looks like everything lines up pretty good. I mean, obviously not perfect, but... And I'm looking at the bumper, and I'm like, okay, where's the damage? I see it took a, a light smack there. <laughs> okay. Um... Uh, you tell me that <laughs> uh, gaps look all right. What about over here? Again, gaps look okay. I am very, very confused while at the same time being very, very interested. I, wow, I like this. Oh, I like this a lot. <laughs> I like this a whole lot. Yeah. Yeah, this is all right. <laughs> This'll do. I could I could make this work. Oh, come on. Someone took the keys? You're kidding me, man. You've got to be kidding me. Someone jacked the keys. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. There it is. <laughs> I just didn't see it. Dead. Yeah, of course. Okay, look at that center stack. Is that not beautiful? You know, ooh. Hold up. Oh, they rolled it up and I didn't see it. I almost missed that completely. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> We're missing something. We're missing. I'm slipping. That's what it is. I'm slipping. It's damaged on this side some. Ah, yes it is. Yes it is. Not up here. Back here. Okay. This door looks like they had started taking it apart. And the suspension back here. Look at this wheel. I mean, this sucker is chewed up something fierce. Obviously, something has been tweaked back there. Uh, I'm surprised that they totaled it. And it's also missing the strip right here. Yep, and I'll bet the door pan... Oh, wow. Didn't see that either. Blown. Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you, that's probably where it killed it right there. Was the side airbags, curtain airbags. That's what totaled it. Is it totaled? Yeah, it says total on it. 138,000 miles. Honestly though, I don't remember if this is a salvage or not. Uh, a lot of times, I don't know how they do it, but I'm telling you a lot of times I will find these cars out here that have been, in, they're insurance cars and they say total, but the title's still clean. Don't ask me how they do it. I don't know. I don't ask questions. I don't want to know. All I know is that it happens a lot. Uh, cars that are insurance owned and totaled somehow carry clean titles. Should we put a jump on it? Why not? All right. Oh, push to start. Ooh. Well, I don't know about you guys, but that didn't, that didn't sound healthy. That didn't sound good at all. No key detected. Great. There it goes. Sonar system error. Oh, she's not running good. That's misfiring. Yeah. Well, maybe that'll clear up. I don't know. She ain't running good at all, guys. Like, she's not happy. Steering feels all right. Brakes feel all right. Ooh. Did you hear that? Good night. How's the check engine light not on? Whoo! 
I guess one of my questions is do we have tail lights in the trunk or have those been taken? Okay, so there's the tail lights. Are they intact? They are. Okay. A spare tire. Looking down at the pan. It doesn't look like this thing was... I, I'm not seeing it. I'm really not seeing all this damage. Listen to it run, though. Not good. I can see the bend in the lower control arm. That's not a big deal to fix, though. Okay. Um, should we think about bidding on this? I don't know. I don't know. Those airbags. I think I smell oil. You can see her misfiring. That engine's just shaking. It's always a good sign when you got a funnel, right? That's always good. Let's turn that off. Poor battery pack, man. She's probably about she's probably about done. I'll be surprised if we can start two more cars with it. I was hoping that that misfire was going to clear up on its own. I know that sounds crazy, but believe it or not, it does happen. Sometimes these cars sit for a while, and uh, they're not too happy to fire up for the first time. But once you get them going, they clean right up. Unfortunately, this one doesn't seem to be clearing up. I'll bet it was probably misfiring before it was involved in whatever accident it was involved in. Yeah, it just, this engine sounds bad. That's not gonna go away. And there's no check engine light, really. Like, really? Solid misfire, and there is no check engine light. All right. Ooh. It moves. Bird's eye view. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, I <laughs> needs a windshield. Not a big deal. Needs the side airbags. Needs the uh, curtain airbags. Uh, I mean, basically for that, you're gonna replace the seat. I'm sure the yeah pretensioner is blown over there. What about this side? It's not blown over here. So passenger side only. Suspension work on the back. And it's got a it's got a dead miss. I'm gonna say nope. Moving on. Next on my list, a 2021 Toyota Tacoma. What is this doing here? This is a run and drive with 8,536 miles on the odometer. Uh, looks like it took a light front impact here. I mean, very light. What? Oh, 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 oh! I, I see it. I see it, man. Yep. Yep, yep. Oh, hi there. I missed that. I did. I missed it. Well, that's okay. That's okay. I don't feel bad because I haven't seen the inside of a 2021 Tacoma. Yeah, might as well take a look at it while we're here, right? I'm, I'm sure it runs. I'm sure it'll move forward and backward under its own power. How far? I don't know, but... Ooh, boy, that hood. There we go. <clears throat> A D45 V6, baby. What does that mean? I have no idea. God, that, that hood, is it supposed to be that heavy? I think that weighs more than my Ram's hood. Dang, man. You know, the right person, though, is going to fix this. The right person's going to fix this. I'm sure the frame is, is bent. I, I guarantee you the frame is bent. But... You know, somebody's going to come in, they're going to section that frame, they're going to throw another bed on it, and this truck's going to, well, it's going to look, going to look new. I, I don't know if it'll ever be right again, but at least the bed didn't go into the cab. You know what I mean? Oh, oh, this is nice. Yeah, this is nice. It smells good. Yeah. Okay. Woo, turn that up. 
That is freezing, freezing. Hey, slow your roll, man. Slow your roll. There we go. Four by four. Okay, push for four low. All right, I mean, I like it. I do, I like it. It's a it's a good sized truck. I mean, I know this is not a big truck. I have a big truck. All right, I got a Ram twenty five hundred Cummins. It's a big truck. This is not big, but I mean, honest to God, you feel pretty big in it. You feel pretty big in this thing. I I like this. I really like this. Yeah, this is decent, guys. What is that? Oh, okay. I was wondering what was... I saw something in the camera. It's just the uh, the thing holding the key fob. Or key fobs. Did it come with two? Nope. It only came with one. Dang it. Well, guys, I can't spend much time on this. I mean, obviously, it runs and drives. It's practically brand new. Really? Running boards? Like, don't you think those running boards kind of hinder the, the ground clearance here? Do you really need running boards to step from here to here? I, I don't I don't think so. I don't think so. I think all that does is make it to where you just reduce your ground clearance by a good four to six inches. Yeah. Nice truck, though. Moving on. We're going to start moving through these kind of quick, guys. It's getting late. They're going to be closing. Next is a 2007 Nissan Murano. It's a pedal car. And uh, I didn't see how bad the paint was in the pictures. I'm really trying to avoid vehicles that need paint work, mainly because Mako is so backed up. Uh, it can take a month or so to get a vehicle painted, and I just don't have that kind of time. I like to get these things in and get them out now. With that said, the body looks great. The paint looks great. The tires look really good. I haven't even checked to see if they're a matching set. I don't think they are, but I mean, it's got, it's got decent tires, okay, regardless whether they don't match. The hood itself could be replaced. Okay, find another one at the junkyard or something with a with a good painted hood, and down the road you go. Now both front tires are Yokohamas, and both back tires are whatever whatever they are. It's got parking lot dings all over it. I mean, you can tell it was somebody's little commuter car. Woo, somebody somebody sharded. Um, this is a it's a unique style of vehicle. Oh, it's pretty comfortable too. I'm surprised some of the keys are not locked up. They're just in the cup holder. Oh, she fired right up. 238,000 miles. Man, I'm telling you. Hey, guys. Uh, Nissan. Okay, well, skip anything with the CVT, but Nissan makes some pretty good cars, man. So does Toyota, Lexus, of course. Maintenance. Pit. Okay, engine oil. To do for an oil change. All right, that's, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. That almost looks like it used to be a cassette player. What? Okay, it's an 07, and it looks like you're supposed to have a tape in there. Uh, I don't know about all that. Let's, uh... I heard the AC. Yep, AC is on. Okay, can we get this out of here? How do you, uh, I don't know how this works, man. How do you tell it okay or to skip? Skip all that. We don't care about the oil change. No, that's, there we go. There we go. All right. Well, let's give her a little rev. Oh, she's misfiring. Yeah, she's misfiring pretty good, isn't she? Surprise check engine light is not flashing. Let me see if I can find the hood release. Important window works. Yes, it does. I, I enjoy misfires because you never know what it's going to be. Is it going to be a blown head gasket, a cracked head? Oh, my God. <laughs> Whoa. What is this? Can somebody... What? Who? Oh, wow. Look at the radiator bouncing around down there. 
Um, yeah, I, I, I think what this is, is we have a front motor mount that went bad. And instead of replacing the motor mount, they hooked a ratchet strap up to the engine and then secured it to the frame. They did. They sure did. They, they, they tied that down to the frame. You got to be kidding me. Okay. So here's what, here's what I want to tell you right now. Um, no, I'm not, I'm not interested in this at all. No, sir. No. Skip that. Look, if it hadn't been for that, I, I would have taken it on. Sure. Tune up some plugs, maybe coils. But if you're so, it, 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 look, I don't even want to call it cheap, but if you're so bad off that you've got to take a ratchet strap, bust up the engine, and wrap the motor to the damn frame to keep it from rocking, I don't want to know what else got a, ooh. Ooh, no. Uh-uh. What is, that smells like gasoline leaking and oil mixing. That smells Nah, yeah, it, we're, we're going to skip this one, guys. But anyway, if, if that's how you did things, I don't want to know what else, you know, got half-assed. And, and I'm just not going to mess with it, guys. And that smell, I don't smell good. Let's move on. Next on my list is 2018 Honda CRV with hail damage. To get you guys a little closer, you can see it. It's not very sunny out today, so it makes it a little harder to see the hail. But you can see it. Yeah, she's got some hail damage. It's practically new. I think he's got some windows knocked out of it, but... Oh, man, how are you doing? I kind of like this little car. Dang it. Uh, okay, anyway, I'm not, I'm not here to look at that. I've got my list together. That one's not on it. Yeah, this one... They had the doors cracked, so it must smell. Here we go. We're, we're going to do it. We're going to climb in here and take a sniff. I got a feeling it's going to be real bad. Let's see. It's it's not, actually. I mean, it you know, it smells a little rough, but it's not a... Uh, it's not awful. Oh, the battery's dead. Oh! Yeah, battery's dead. Okay. Well... I guess we can fire it up. Oh, you know what? I forgot to pop the hood. You know why it's getting late and I'm getting in a hurry. Yeah, I won a couple cars at Copart today and I'm waiting on those uh, final results from them. And then there was an issue with the house that came up today. The new one. Uh, hopefully it doesn't affect anything, but we'll find out. Uh, they said tomorrow we'll have an answer on that. So today's just a stressful day, man. Today's a real stressful, stressful day for me. So, and it's getting late. I'm getting in a hurry. All right, let's throw the, I don't know if the jump pack's got anything left in it. We'll give it a shot though. There's a nice little, uh, nice little beetle bug, an old school one, convertible that I want to take a peek at. A flood car. Do we have anything left? We do. By golly, we do. Look, turning on all those damn lights to finish killing off my jump pack. Ugh. Here we go. Woo! Turn that heat up. And turn the turn the fan setting down. How many miles are on this? 30,000? 31,000 miles, yeah. It's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay. I mean, we know it's going to go forward and backward. Yeah, no issues, man. Very nice. Steering feels good. Brakes, I mean, it's hail damage. Everything is... What the heck is it beeping about? Oh, doors being open? Is that... I don't know, man. I don't know what she's complaining about. It's got a flashing yellow light for the for the brake pedal or something, man. Can you guys see that? 
It's like the gas pedal and the brake pedal. Okay, I don't know what it wants. You want me to rev it up? You want me to hit the brakes? I give up, man. I tell you what, that damn noise is aggravating me. See if I can get out without smacking this thing into another car. Ugh. Golly, man. It can't... Some of these are a tight fit. Seriously. Well, we gave the battery enough juice. It'll probably start next time. So we saved the next guy a little bit of trouble, I would say. All right. Let's move on, guys. I think this is a good one, but obviously... As with a lot of the cars we look at out here, just slightly out of my price range. But I think uh, I think we'll find something that's more in our price range here in a minute. How about a 1978 Volkswagen Super Beetle? Uh, this car is this car is you know I think there may have been some prep work issues. I don't know. She should have been able to took an impact like that and not lost her paint. Yeah, you see a lot of cracking in the paint. A lot of it here too probably restored a long long time ago all of this these crow's feet all in here yeah all of that eventually the paint is gonna come off of it guys the uh, marauder i bought had that severely it was an issue with those old uh fords lincoln's and mercury's back in the day yep this uh, fuel injection oh, i just learned something new guys are you telling me that in 1978 we had fuel injection I don't know about you guys, but to me, that don't look like fuel injection. That, that is not fuel injection. That looks like an old Weber. Look at her. She's cute. She's cute. Where, uh, it's out of curiosity, guys. Where do you, where do you jumpstart one of these? <laughs> Where's the battery? Is it up under the front? Hell, I don't know. This is supposed to be a flood car. It's also supposed to be a non-runner. Oh, wow. Okay. Ugh. Oh, that hood is it, or the frunk, whatever you want to call it, is in bad shape. Somebody used silicon on the gas tank. Red silicon on the gas tank. They, they really did that. They really did that. <laughs> Unbelievable. Silicon on a gas tank. Wow. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm just looking for the battery. I don't know if it's under here. There's a spare tire. Yep, so the battery doesn't appear to be under here neither. Where would it be? Oh, that doesn't even close. This this is rough, guys. This is rough. Uh, it's at twenty three hundred bucks right now. I mean, it looks all right on the on the inside. Yeah, this is this is. All I want to know is how the hell do you jumpstart one of these guys? Where is the battery? Is it back there? No? No battery back there. Where the hell is the battery? Battery under here. Ah, there it is. There it is. Battery's hiding. All right. Well, we already know it's dead as a doornail. Oh, man. Just turn the key and see, see what it does or it doesn't do here. Uh-oh. The key doesn't seem to be working. Maybe it's the other key? Nope. Yeah. Ah. Ha-ha. <laughs> oh, and she's got power? Uh-oh. Oh, I can tell you this. The ignition switch does not ignition, guys. Nope. Uh, windshield wipers don't windshield wipe. Air, air, fan. Yeah, all right. Is there a hidden button? That is annoying as all get up, isn't it? Okay. Well, it's supposed to start with the key. 
but it does nothing. Nothing at all. So I guess I'm going to kind of look under here and let's see if we can find a hidden button or, or something. Maybe somebody put like a little push starter on it. I sure don't see it. It looks like somebody's been under here playing with stuff though. Look at all the wires just pulled out, hanging out everywhere. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, there's a wire just hanging there too. Yeah. I don't know guys, how's it look under? Yeah, I, what do you guys think, man? You think the engine cranks by hand? I could try to, yeah, she cranks. Look at that, she turns easy. She turns real easy, actually. It's just a matter of uh, figuring out what the hell is going on with it. Let's check the oil. Oil's decent. It's full, not overfilled. Yeah, so what we have here is just a just an issue between the ignition and the starter. Uh, I'll bet money if you could get this thing cranking, she'd probably fire up, guys. Surely would. She'd probably fire up. This could be fun. This could be fun. I like things like this, man. Especially an engine like this. I've never worked on this before. I don't know anything about it. I don't have a clue. I don't have a clue. Guys. She's rough as far as like the paint's concerned, man. She's she's definitely rough. Uh, the top, pretty rough too. I, I, yeah, honestly, the whole car is rough. This is one of those. It's just I'm not sure there's really any money into something like this. You know what I mean? just she's just a little too rough there's no button that i can find to start it i'm hoping that maybe no nah all right well it is what it is man yes comment below guys tell me what you think should we get it and try to tinker with it maybe just get it running and send it back because as far as like putting it all together i ain't doing that I got no interest in that, but it'd be fun to get it running. Drop your comments below right now and tell me if you're interested in the little 78 Super Beetle. Last on the list, guys, another pedal car, 2000 and I don't know what it is. It's a Nissan Xterra. What year is this? It's a 03 Xterra. She's kind of rough, guys. Uh, but like I said, it's a pedal car. And, you know, tires up here, not the greatest, but it's got some threads on them back tires they're all right the body yeah you know it's a little rough i'm curious to see how many miles on this old girl <laughs> i got a feeling uh i got a feeling it's probably pushing a quarter of a million this tire's got some pretty decent thread on i say that just because i i was on facebook marketplace guys and you know somebody was posting their car about how how much thread the tires got on them and yeah there's a 745 li right there it's a non-runner going up for sale. I decided to skip that one altogether and look at the Nissan. I think the Nissan is probably more likely to be a, a decent car than that thing is. And she's rough. Oh, but we got some receipts. She's been to the service department. Yeah, she... Ooh, boy, like right... <laughs> what, what's going on right there in the middle there? I mean, is that a... Whew. <laughs> okay, anyway, anyway, it stinks. It smells absolutely awful. I'm going to bet this is a non-runner. I just, I got a feeling this one's a, this one's a non-runner. We'll go ahead. Oh, the key's already in it. Okay, good deal. Whatever that is, gross. Headliner sagging. Yep. I wonder if we can get this. Back door to open? No, I don't. Th I think that back door just doesn't open at all. Okay. Well, let me try it one more time. See if I can fiddle with it and get maybe the lock to. Nope. Okay. Let's pop the hood. Let's see what it looks like under here, and we're gonna find out together if it runs and drives. Just honestly looking at it, I don't. I don't expect it to. Ooh, wow. Okay. Good night, this poor thing. Oh, boy. Well, uh, service transmission at 40K, 35K on the brakes. 
I can't wait to see what the mileage is on this old girl. <sighs> okay, hey, you know what? She may surprise us, guys. But like I told you, my booster pack was dead. Well, it was dead quite a while ago. <laughs> so if it if it manages to squeeze in one last start, I will be seriously surprised. I, I don't think, look, I mean, she is, she's been dead for a while. Uh-oh. She ain't got no more juice. Oh, she does? Uh, she was hesitant. Okay, I don't know what all that noise is. But we're going to go ahead and try to crank her before that booster pack says no more. That thing, that is the best damn jump starter I've had. Oh, it's only got 150 on the clock. 150. Here we go. What? No way. It runs great. The important window works. It's check engine light, washer fluid light. Um. Pretty sure the AC doesn't work. That's okay. That's okay. My main thing is does the heat work? Brakes feel good. Backwards. Forwards. Yes. Steering feels good. Boy, this thing's a this thing's a mess though. This thing's serious. This is a mess. It's a little pioneer unit. It works. A little CD player. Error. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. We're not overly concerned with that. She revs out good too. Oh, she's smoking though. Now it is cold. So I wouldn't say for sure that that's a problem. It really could just be condensation. Hot engine blowing into some really moist cold air. Hell guys, we might actually, ooh. A lot of smoke coming out from under the hood too. You know, she. <laughs> She's a little rough. A lot of smoke. Look at that. Yeah. Ooh, Lord, that smells awful. Burning oil. Rock valve cover gaskets. Surely that's what it is. Yeah, we got a lot of oil just burning off the exhaust manifold there. 150 though guys i am curious to see what the bids are on this i mean it may smoke like a well i guess like a sailor right or whatever they say but she sure does run good she sure does run good let's pull up the app let's just see what it's sitting at well here it is 2003 nissan xterra xe no bids they want a thousand and a quarter for it a thousand twenty five dollars i should say for it um oh it says engine damage that must be because all that smoke yeah i was tempted to bid on this guys but yeah i don't know i i, I i'm not sure let me see what are we bidding on right now uh, my account Let's see, pre-bids. Okay, we're winning the Chevy Cruze. Oh man, we got outbid on the on the Land Rover. But we're still winning the Chevy Cruze. Okay, let's uh, let's think about this for a minute. You tell me what you think, man. So under the hood is is smoking pretty good, man. Yeah, she's smoking pretty good. And then you come out to the tailpipe over here, and well, she's you know. She's smoking pretty good too. Thousand and a thousand twenty-five dollars, man. Honestly, it's a good price for this. Oh man, you can't even breathe in here, dude. No, hell, no. Gotta get out. Gotta get out. Whew. Um. 
you know, you replace the valve cover gaskets and you probably get 90% of that smoke to go away. Um, that'd be my guess anyway. Guys, I'm, I'm just not interested in this at all at this point. So I'm going to walk away and we're going to end the video. So do me a favor. If you enjoyed the content, hit the thumbs up button. And if you didn't, well, hit the thumbs down button. Drop those comments below. Tell me what cars you saw today that you would have been on. If I missed something that you would like to have seen, let me know. And if I can make it, you know, next time around, I'll definitely do my best to put that in there for you. If it's a car that's currently for sale, that's a trick. You can't just look at any of the cars out here, guys. They got to be cars that are coming up for sale. So you may have seen something, but it may not be on the sale list. And I wasn't able to actually come out here and take a look at it for you. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you enjoyed the content. Stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon. Hopefully we win something this week in the next one.